eight-time world squash champion, Nicole David. Our Colette one caught up with the legendary squash player. She picked up a racket and made a whole load of noise. Starting in Penang, she conquered the world, forging a legacy that's not been seen in Asian sport and the world of squash. She held the world number one spot for 109 consecutive months. She was voted the greatest female player of all time in a poll conducted by the Professional Squash Association. She's a woman of impact. She is Nicole David. Nicole, tell us more about your journey. What set you on this path for glory? Uh, well, my journey started uh, as a five-year-old girl uh, following the two older sisters to the public squash centre in Penang to train uh, and play squash. And from there, the, the fire and the love for squash started and I just wanted to see this, this um, fire burning to do more and to train harder and to see where I go and before you know it I started to win tournaments and after getting getting my two world junior titles and that was the moment after school I decided to become professional and move to Amsterdam to work with my coach Liz Irving. We just broke all the barriers possible and I never imagined all this could happen. I'm truly truly thrilled after being retired and seeing my journey, my squash journey has been just the best experience of my life. You've broken barriers uh, throughout your career, becoming the first Malaysian and Asian female squash number one, and you were there for such a long time as well. What was it like being in the spotlight all the time? Um, in the beginning, um, as a young um, squash player, having having won a couple, like a few international titles uh, when I was younger, it then the pressure came on to me and I, I had to learn how to deal with it through um, sports psychology and uh, learning how to understand what pressure is all about. So from there, I could I, I just need, needed to know from a young age that this is going to happen. So how to minimize that and being a Malaysian and an Asian player, I didn't, I didn't look at it as something that to represent. I just had to Look, that is something that I have to keep striving towards. It's not not a place like number the number one spot. It's not a place that you keep. It's something that you have to gain. You know, your success and your achievements throughout all your years is enough of an inspiration for Malaysians and Asians, you know, to want to emulate you. But you've gone further now that you've retired. You've set up a foundation. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and the motivation behind it? Well. The foundation's in the midst of setting up. Um, there's still a few, a lot of processes to go along the way, but the foundation is really focused on empowering girls and boys through the values of sport and how they can, how like sport has influenced me. I know in my life that this in this foundation, I can use squash as the tool to really like show that they can build those fundamental values through through squash and. And them being active, them knowing healthy habits, learning um, how to respect one another, being uh, girls and boys, uh, we want to empower both in the generations to come. So hopefully that my foundation can offer that and I want to, uh, to share my experience to the next generation. So what's next now for Nicole, David and Squash? Where do you want to take the women's game to, Nicole? For me in squash, I, I think I'm really going to be focusing on the foundation, but in, in the sense of giving back to the sport, I want to um, hopefully help out in some consultancy uh, position, whether it's having camps in Malaysia and also abroad, or for those who want to have more insights on how to manage your training or how to manage preparation with competition and that and pressure so all all that could come in in play and also on another side is to bring more top squash in Malaysia uh, to be seen in Malaysia a bit more. Nicole it's an absolute pleasure speaking to you you're such a delight and I wish you all the very best for your future endeavors thanks for joining us. Oh thanks for having me Colette it's been great chatting with you and hope to see you soon. It's remarkable to see Nicole and what she's achieved, and she's not stopping there either. Nicole David is using her platform to ensure a better tomorrow for females in Malaysia and the world over.